Hello everyone, this is my new house. Welcome to my video. I am excited about this video because this is the first one that I've made that uses the L-shaped rooms update. And so I tried it and enjoyed using it when building this house. This house is built on a standard lot. So that is a small backyard. This house is owned by Elena Jefferson. She lived here with her daughter and she is a single mother. This is Elena. There is a small area in front where you can see that I did do a little landscaping but I'm not very good at landscaping so it's just a little bit. There's some right here and on the other side of the house right in front I did some more. This is the foyer of this house and there is not a separate room for the foyer because with an L-shaped room you can just separate by the shape of the room. Stay with me. When I showed you the kitchen, from this height, you can look at the kitchen dining room area and the foyer and you can tell that this is actually an L-shaped room. Here is the countertop. There is vegetable from the new supermarket that we have in Sims Free Play. There's a refrigerator, there's a double oven, there's a stove and a sink. And here's the dishwasher and here's a coffee service area. And Elena will f make herself a cup of coffee. Directly in front of us, it's a little drop zone table with a mirror and you can put your mail here when you first bring it in and your keys. This is the only bathroom downstairs. It is done with gray floors and white walls. There's a shower. Of base basin and a toilet in that little back section and in the front section we have the vanity and a tub. Next I will show you the living room. There's a big fireplace. It is a wood burning fireplace. There's sofas to sit on and the door directly ahead there is also a door leading into that bathroom. There's a bookcase. You can see the sliding glass doors and also you can see the large screen TV. 
And what we'll do next is go outside to the back living area. Alana is going to sit and work on her laptop while I show you some more of this area in the back of the house. Now those are the sliding doorway doors that we came through. And Alana is busy on her laptop. Here's the barbecue grill with the refrigerator on the side. There's a doorway that leads into the hall, back into the house. This is a lounge chair that can sit two people. And you go into the house this way and you arrive in the room with the computer, bookcases, chairs, and the stairway to the basement. Now this doorway leads to the garage and earlier I showed you the garage. But now we'll go down to the basement. There are several small rooms in the basement and at least two of them has L shapes. The first room that I'm going to show you is the pantry. It is a very large pantry and all the non-perishable food is stored here that can't be stored in the kitchen area. And when you come out of the pantry, there's an exercise device sitting there that you can use. And this doorway leads into the full bathroom. Here is a tub. There's a shower area. There's a vanity and a toilet. And the brick wall is all over the whole basement. Now we're back out straight ahead. You can see a TV. And that TV is in a little, in a recessed area. And that is what makes this room a L shaped room. Okay, moving on over here. You can see. The weather machine and some hot water heaters that is the utility room coming on over a little further there's another machine to exercise on and this is an l-shaped room there are the wash and dry kitchen cabinets up countertops uh, there's also a countertop with a wash basin for hand washing clothes and baskets for dirty clothes to sit next to that sink. Here is a freezer and most of the frozen food is kept here in the freezer. This is also from that supermarket event. I don't remember the name of it but I know it came with the store. There are some chairs sitting there. You can sit and relax or you can use the exercise machines or sit in these chairs and watch TV. Now that we are back upstairs on the first level, I will show you the second floor. We'll take the elevator, well it's not an elevator, it's an escalator up and here we are. The first room that I'm going to show you is Elena's little girl's room. As you go in, there's an entranceway 
that's like a small hallway and that makes the L shape for this room. There's a armoire, there's a little sitting area, there's bunk beds and she wanted bunk beds because some of her friends can stay overnight with her. There's a TV that is a gaming TV and next to the TV is a work desk, a school work desk. And here is her bathroom. There is a shower. There is a uh, toilet and also vanity. It is small, but it accommodates her very well because she's a preteen little girl. Now I'll put the walls back up and I'll show you the next room. So we'll go out into the hallway from this room There's a little bit of an overview. Now we'll go out into the hallway. And I'll show you the guest room. The guest room is toward the front of the house. And this is the doorway over on your left that goes into the guest room. There's a computer t uh, table. And there you can see the front yard. Here is a recliner chair. There's the little cabinet with the mirror on top. Here's one of the beautiful lamps from the French Chateau. I think that lamp and table is from them. Anyway, this is a French bed. And it is very pretty sort of feminine but it is pretty and there's the big screen TV on the wall and it can accommodate a guest very well and the doorway that you see here by the picture on the wall leads into the closet and bathroom area here is the closet and next to it is the toilet room. And here's your shower and vanity. And there is a robe hanging there as for the guests. Now through this door, you're right back into the guest room. But there's also an exit to the hallway from this room through this door. And you go back. And you're back in the room. So that is an extra for this room, having that second door to leave the bathroom. Next, I'll show you the owner's suite or the master suite. As you go in, there's a little hallway that make this room an L-shaped room. There's a dresser. There is a bed from the lake house event that was around last Christmas time. And I decorated it with that bed. The wall colors are from the bed. They, I used some of the same colors that's in that quilt, a patchwork quilt, I guess they are referred to as. And this door, straight ahead now, leads into the closet. And we'll check out the closet right now.
You can see some of the hanging clothes. There's a dresser. There's a few items sitting on top of the dresser. There's a toilet roll holder there. And this doorway leads into the bathroom. And all the way on the end, you can see a shower. The shower can accommodate two people. And there is your toilet on the left side. There is also a vanity in the second part of the room and a bathtub. Well, this is the end of the tour, and I'll show you the grid for the house. The yellow lines on the grid indicate the L-shaped rooms. This is the second floor. This is the first floor. And here is the basement. Hey folks, thank y'all for watching my video. I hope that you like it and that you will subscribe and come back and watch some of my other videos. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.